Hi guys, welcome to the live stream. Yes, I know I am a little bit early, but a few minutes. Let me see what time is it. It is. It's 11:56. But I just I couldn't wait, guys. I'm so excited for today's episode of Hands On with Michael, guys. Welcome. Today is February 5th, 2023. Welcome to beautiful Portland, Oregon. Today it's a rainy day, kind of cool, but it's nice, you know. Uh, at least we're here. So, uh, guys, I'm gonna wait for you guys to connect with me before I start this demonstration, okay? So, let me just change the camera angle. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, guys, I know that I'm a little bit early, but I just couldn't take, I, I, I couldn't take, I'm so excited about what I'm gonna, what am I gonna uh, to show you. So, I'm just gonna wait a few minutes. It's 11.57, so I understand. Hello, I have one person. Who it is? Is this Val? Welcome, happy Sunday. Let's see who this is. Uh, let's see. Hi, Ba. Welcome, darling. I'm so happy you're here to see this beautiful demonstration. You know, I did this this morning. I made another candle using another de design that you're gonna love. Okay. Hi, Mirna. Hi, Beach Girl. Welcome all to the beautiful Portland, Oregon. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a demonstration for you guys. Uh, I have so much stuff to show you. Let me just change the camera angles. So I can show you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so having here the wax cremation that is almost cold. Okay, having here the two colors that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a uh, red, and I'm gonna be using yellow from Candle Science and liquid colors, guys. And I already have them in here pre-measure. This one is the yellow, and this one is the red. And I use six drops of each one, and I put a tiny bit of uh, wax, like a quarter teaspoon. Something like that, just to cover the, the end, you know? So these are gonna be the colors that I'm gonna be using to make this beautiful demonstration. Hello, and then this is the, the start of the show is this. So this is the uh, the machine that I have. Let me show you the box, hold on. Okay, so this is the Milk Pro. I got this at Amazon and I'm gonna link it down below, okay? I love the way this makes this beautiful effect. The way, I, uh, you know, these are very inexpensive. You can't find this anywhere. On the supermarket, you know, nine dollars. I think that's, I think I paid for this nine ninety nine. Okay, well you see, you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna link it below. Okay, so I'm expecting a lot of people today, guys. So let's see. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I start. Let's see who's, it. let's see who else is here. Okay, Sharon. Hi. Let me change the camera. Hi, Sharon. Welcome, Paula. He hello. Yes, Mirna, yes, Beach Girl, of course, I'm Bob. Okay, uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna start right now, guys. This is gonna be taking me a while because it's a lot of steps, okay? So the first thing I want to do is, because these are gonna be two color different swirls, okay? I wanna try doing two different ones, okay? To see how how this uh, new design works, okay? So I have in here the, uh, the drops, six drops, of yellow and six drops of red. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave, okay? For about a minute, okay? So let me just put that in the microwave right now. It should be between 30 seconds and one minute. I just wanna do one minute because I noticed that uh, sometimes I leave it one minute and then it, it keeps solid. And hi Mia, welcome darling. Sometimes I put it for one minute and then it still solidifies. So, and um, what I'm doing, guys, I have the window open in here on on my left. So because I want the air to flow in. Okay, so let me show you the vessel that I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using the double wall borrow clear. Uh, let me see, clear borrow wall, double block wall from 6017. So I've gone ahead and I place the the wick at the center. Okay, so what I've done is I place the wick at the center. Hi Naya, welcome. I placed the wick on the center, but I did not take, take out the the other side of, of the tape, okay? Because we want to preserve this, okay? Because we need to place the wick once we create the effect. That's the secret for this. Uh, it's like you need to have access to the whole container. Okay, this got very hot. So I'm gonna take the a rack and start letting it cool. Be careful because this the glass gets very hot, okay? Let me change the camera so I can show you. Okay, so 
Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see everything that I'm doing. Let me move this to the back and let me just move the camera over here. Let me zoom out. Okay. Okay, let's see. I just wanna zoom in so you can see everything that I'm doing, guys. Okay, it doesn't matter if I'm not on the screen, it's okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is because I don't want to stain my hands, I'm gonna wear gloves, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna get very messy. And as you can see, I have everything covered with towels. So I don't care if they stain. Okay, and I'm gonna take this off because I don't want it to get stained with color, you know, just in case. Okay. So I went ahead and I, and I cleaned this with alcohol, but I'm gonna clean it again. I'm gonna leave it in here. Okay. So the color I'm melting right now, this one is the yellow, and this one is the red. So I'm gonna swirl it around. Hi, Jamie, welcome. So I'm swirling this, and pulling at the same time. Okay, the trick to this, guys, is you have to have to be, you have to make sure that let me just put a paper towel so you can see the color. I'm gonna take this away. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here so you can see it. Okay. So I'm gonna swirl it around because I need to make sure that they get very cold. I mean, they cool down. They, the secret to this guy is that you need to wait for this to get solidified really very, you know, otherwise what I'm, what I'm trying to, to accomplish is I wanna be able to, when I, when I dip this in there, I want this to be uh, coated, but I want it to be like soft peaks. You know, when you do meringue, meringue you know, when you do like a, a dessert candle that you need to, you need to get like uh, soft peaks. That's what I'm looking for this, okay? Now it's covering, but it's not covering enough, okay? You see, it's still very runny. If I put this now inside the vessel, what it's gonna do, it's gonna run all over the place, okay? And I don't want that. I wanna make sure that this stays in place. When I put it in, when I, uh, when I do the swirl. So what I try to do is I went, I'm trying to push it to the sides. So you see, so it, it gets cooler and then it attaches to the side of the, of the container. I want this to be very, very, uh... okay. What I'm gonna do guys, in the meantime, while I wait for this to, while I wait for that to, to cool down, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the, let me just go to the other camera. I'm gonna take the, the wax in here that I have pre-measured in here, 5.4 ounces of wax, okay? And I'm gonna put it in the microwave. For four minutes, because it's already been um, heated already, but I, okay. So it's getting thicker. But it's not thick enough. You see, it's, it's still running from the from from the whisk. So I need to wait. Oh my God, guys! I'm so happy that I see 20 people. Please, guys, if you can, can you give me a like, please? So 
the video can do better on YouTube. I would really appreciate it, guys. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna start doing the red color first. So it's getting thicker. Okay, let me switch the camera now. So you can see the thickness. You see, it's starting to stick to the whisk, but I want like a soft piece. When you're doing meringue, that's what you want. So I'm gonna keep swirling, getting it cooler. A one says I'm happy with the consistency. Hi guys, welcome. Okay. Thank you all for giving me your likes. That's gonna make uh, the video do better on YouTube. I really appreciate guys for you spending the time with me, making these beautiful creations. This is something that I came up uh, out of the nowhere, you know, and I think it's gonna be a very huge success for all of us, candle makers, you know. This is a game changer, the way it creates effects. I'm gonna show you a candle that I made this morning uh, that is so beautiful, guys. It's something that you've never seen before. Okay, so let's see. This is almost there. Okay, I think I'm gonna, do you see the consistency? Okay, that's the consistency that we need, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. This is gonna be very tricky, guys, because you must hold this in an angle. In order to get the effect that I wanna get, that I wanna get, you need to hold this in an angle. So I'm putting a hand underneath, but at the same time, I'm putting this on the top because I don't want anything splattering on my face, okay? So I'm gonna load. Okay, so I'm gonna load this. As you can see, I'm gonna put it inside. And then I'm gonna go in an angle. Can you see? I'm gonna go in an angle and let's go for it. Okay, you see, this is why I create that. That's why I wanted to have the paper towel. But look at this beautiful swirl, guys. This is amazing. Now we're gonna go with the yellow and we're gonna go the opposite way. So let me just zoom back. Okay, so guys, before this dries, I need to go clean it up. So I'm gonna make sure that I wipe this off because I don't want this wax on my sink. So I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna clean the meat frother with a Dawn liquid soap. And I'll be right back, okay? Let me just switch the camera here. Okay. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse this because I need to do the other color, okay? Yes! In the meantime, the wax is ready, so give me a few minutes, okay?
Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay. So I clean this very well with done uh, very hot water and dish done dish liquid. Hi Ruthetti, Ruthet, Ruthetti. Welcome, Candle Chef. Hello, welcome. Okay, so now this is dry. Let me just make sure that it's dry. I don't want to put any water. Okay, now the other color got too hot, so I'm gonna put a couple of seconds in the microwave again. In the meantime, the other wax is already heated. Let's see what the temperature for this one is. Oh my God, this is 264. 261, so it's way too hot, way too hot. Okay, so now this one got too hot too. So I need to wait until it gets solidified a little bit more. But guys, let me just show you how beautiful this is looking. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yes, look at my hands, all stained. Okay. Okay, so let me show you again the color. Let me just zoom out. Let's see. Let me just change the angle of this. Okay. Not a good idea to have a drink in front of me. Okay, guys, forgive me. Okay, now let's see if this is gonna work out better. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, so I'm waiting for this to solidify. Let me check the temperature of this. 254, okay, so I'm getting this to be a little bit thicker. Let's see. Okay, so you see it's too liquid. Need to be thicker. But I'm gonna just push it to the walls So it can start cooling down. I'm telling you guys, you can do so many different effects with this. I'm pretty sure, guys, I'm pretty sure that, that, you, that you have seen the, uh, uh, the Candle Chef. The Candle Chef, have you ever done this before in your channel? Let us know because um, do you know any other techniques that we could use also for the different Candle effects because that would be great, you know, to incorporate that in our candle, in our candles, you know. I just, it's just that I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again, you know. I just wanted to find something different, and I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't find anything, anyone using the the milk brother, you know, to do any any kind of effect. So I decided, you know what, why not do my own? So I'm gonna call it the mad hole technique. Yes, I'm gonna take the credit. Hi guys, welcome. Yes, I think this makes like a very nice because you don't have the wick in the middle inter interfering with this effect. You're able to create a round around the candle that you are not able to create if you have a wick placed in the middle, okay? And usually what people do is they uh, make the candle and then they stick the color on the side of the candle vessel and then that's the only color that I've seen so far. Some people do marbling candles, they are beautiful also. Also guys, the, the secret to this is when you pour the, the wax, it has to be at 130, between 130 and 135. It's the only way that you're gonna be able to get to preserve the effect. Okay, this is 240. I'm gonna add the, the fragrance oil that I'm using. 
to bring the, the temperature lower. And I'm using one of the scents from Scent Memory that I'm gonna be reviewing on Thursday. This Thursday coming up guys, February 9, at eight o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna be premiering the video of the Scent Memory Fragrance Oils. Yes, that video is gonna be part one. Part two is gonna be following up on another hands on me, Michael. So be on the lookout for that one. Okay. 211. Okay, we're doing better. Okay, let's see. Okay, look guys. Look at the consistency, okay? This is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, this is gonna give you, oh my God, this is gonna be so beautiful, guys. Look at this, the consistency. Can you see it? It's like soft peaks. Okay, so let me just zoom in again. This is the consistency that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, the vessel again. Again, I need paper towels. Now, I wanna take on the different angle. So, before I did it like this, now I'm gonna go like this. Okay, you wanna go the opposite way. And make sure you have cover in here, okay? Actually, I'm gonna go the other way, like this, okay? Because I wanna do the opposite way. Make sure you load this really well. So it's very loaded like this. You stick it inside. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. It's basically the same color. But I think it looks spectacular, guys. It looks like an X. Um, let me just... Can you see the effect? Look at this. It looks very luscious. It looks very luxurious, guys. Now, the secret to this is you need to wait for the wax to cool down to 130. Just pull it back. So now you have to wait for the wax to pull out to, to be to go down to 130. But let me just show you. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, one color is lighter than the other one. I don't know if you are able to see it. Look at the inside. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the wick in there. So I have a CDN number three. Okay, let me change the angle. Okay, so I'm gonna take the wig tap out. So I have the exposed the the wig placer, the wig dot in there, and then I'm just gonna place the wig in there. Perfection, you see? Yes! And then I'm gonna take one of these wig holders from 6017. These are the ones for the West Coast collection. And the candle is wicked. Okay. Yes! Look at this beauty, guys. And I like, I like the fact that this is like floating inside the vessel. Okay? Once I pour the wax in here, guys, at 1.30, it's gonna be beautiful, okay? So in the meantime, let me just, Take the wax out of this 
vessel and I'm gonna wash these guys and I'll be right back in a few minutes, okay? I'm gonna, I need to clean this now because I don't want this wax going inside my sink. So I need to do it now while it's still warm. And give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay, bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So I'm gonna take these gloves off because they're very stained and I wanna put color anywhere. Okay, let me just get a towel. So I try to take out the color as much as possible, but I'm gonna do a better clean when I once I finish the, the live stream. Guys, do you have any, any questions? Okay. Let me go to the other camera. So this is the way it looks like. Let me just put a piece of paper so you can see. Can you see guys? Look at how it looks like. Look how beautiful it looks. I've never seen a candle made like this before. I think this is first kind of its kind, and I love the way it floats in the middle of the vessel. Let me show you the inside, look. And the bottom is nice and clear. There's, not, there's nothing really like out of place. Again, this, you can only achieve this by not having a wick in the center. And this is beautiful, okay? Yeah, now wait until I put the candle and the wax inside. And I'm gonna show you the one that I made this early, earlier, okay? Now the secret for this, let me just change the... The secret for this, guys, is you need to, to pour this at 130 because you wanna be able to preserve the, uh, the color inside the wall, okay? So right now it's 170, it's too cold. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right into the stainless steel table because the stainless steel, what it does is draws the heat out. Okay. Guys, I hope you were able to understand what I'm doing. As you can see, there's a lot of steps that need to be taken, you know, but at least, you know what? I'm pretty sure that 
the more you do this type of candle, the faster you get, you know? And who knows, maybe you don't even have to put the wick in the, on, at the bottom first, you know? Maybe you can skip that, that step, you know? But I like to have to be, I like to feel safe knowing that the bottom of the, of the candle is already, um, has a wick tab, okay? In case there's any wax that spills in there, you know, because then you have to clean out the bottom of the candle and that's gonna be almost impossible. Okay, 170. Yeah, it looks, it looks, uh, guys, you remember that show, Dexter? Doesn't that remind you like Dexter, you know, the show, you know, the, the, the killer? I think this would be great for Halloween also, for Valentine's Day also, you know, why not? Guys, don't miss this Tuesday's Candle, candle of the Week because I have, a very special candle coming, okay, on Tuesday. And I also use this technique, okay? So you can see how you can create something beautiful. Okay, it's 156, too hot. Believe me guys, I try all the temperatures, starting with 160, 150, 145, 140, yes. Now this one's gonna be 135, okay? Because I want to preserve all the red. Now I did a candle this morning, guys, and I used blue and green. Blood splatter, yes. I like that idea. One sixty, come on, go down. I'm not putting. I'm not putting um, below one below one one forty. I'm gonna be. I need to go one forty or below. Okay, it matches my my drink. Okay, you know what guys? So uh, as I wait for this to cool, I'm gonna show you the candle that I made early this morning. Let me just get a piece of white paper so you can see. Ta-da! Look how beautiful this is. I use blue and green. Let me just go to the other camera. I use blue and green, and this one I pour, look how beautiful this is. Look at this beautiful effect, okay? And this one I pour at 140. And I mean, look at that. I love the way it runs, the color, you know? I love the different effects that the color takes. I love the way it mixes in here. You know, it's so interesting. I'm using number seven wax, yes. Look at the inside. Oh my God. I love the scent that I'm using for this one too. Um, but just look at the different detail, guys. It's just amazing. But this part is my favorite. You see the way it's blending together? It looks like a painting, you know, that like you went like this, like the Zorro. You know what, I'm gonna call this the, uh, the Zorro. No, the Zorro was a Z, this one is an X. This one is an X. Look at that. Ah, beautiful, yes. So you can try mixing colors, you can try, you know, it's, it's up to you. Okay, so let's see how this one is doing now. Let's see how cool this one is. One fifty four. I'm gonna put it right next to the window. So it gets cooler faster. Yes. Oh my God, I love this candle. And for this, I'm using, I'm using black saffron from Stone Candles. For this one, it is truly, truly, truly amazing. 
okay? And for the other candle, I'm using this scent that I love. For the other candle, I'm using this one. This is one of my favorites from Scent Memory, guys. This one is really like beautiful. It's so decadent, so wicked. I love it. Yes, guys, you have to watch the, the review coming next Thursday. Okay, don't miss the premiere. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Okay. It says that it's 134, I don't believe it. Let me see, let me check again. No, 151. I was measuring the side of the vessel. 149. Okay, I'm gonna wait until 140. And then I'll pour. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Yes, more likes please. What is the scent called? Can you see? That's the scent for scent memory? Yes. And this one is black saffron from Stone Candles. It's also very decadent. I love the saffron and smokiness of this scent. It's really unreal, you know? Uh, again, this is very close to the one from uh, Simbi Fragrance, but I like this one better than the one from Simbi. You know, that's me, but they're all the, basically the same scent, okay? Let's see. Okay, it's 144. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to pour 144. Okay, candle chef, I'm gonna ask you, should I pour now or should I wait until I hit 135? It's up to you, I'm gonna follow what, what your suggestion is, so send it, uh, let me know. Should I wait? Yes, Mika, this is a double vessel. Look, it's floating in the air. Okay. Candle Chef, I'm waiting for you. Should I pour now or should I wait? It's 142. Okay, I, let me just, I'm gonna put a piece of, uh, so you can see, and I'm gonna put it in here. Because when I pour this, let me just zoom in. I'm gonna pour this in here so you can see. Okay, can you see guys? Let me just go the other way. I'm so sorry for the different change of angles. Okay. Come on. Okay guys, I'm gonna pour now. The temperature for this is now 136, so I'm gonna pour now. And try to pour in the center 
Try not to touch the sides as much as you can. Okay, so let me just put this away. Okay, so let me just... Close there. this out of the way. Okay. It's not really running the color. Only a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's not bad. Let me just... Can you see? I like that, that dot in there. I think it looks stunning. I think it's a work of art. It's like the splatter is really like it. Beautiful. And it's running a tiny bit in there, but I just love the way it looks. It looks like a, like a painting, you know? Look at that swimming in there. Yes! Guys, I'm so happy the way this turned out. I'm so happy that I was able to bring this to you guys. I, I didn't think that it was going to work out, but it, so far it's working out to, to perfection. I love the candles. They look at how beautiful it's looking. The way it's developing. Yes! Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Okay, let me show you the other ones. These are the other candles that I made. This is the green one. And this one is my favorite. This one has a coffee shop. Let me just pull that up a little bit. So this one has coffee shop from Candle Science. But look how beautiful the detail. And this one, I don't know which, I think this one has another one that I, I don't remember the name. But yeah, but this one guys, this one is still in the show. I'm gonna call this one the Dexter candle. Dexter, yes! Okay, guys. Guys, you have any questions? I haven't burned them yet, but it's uh, the minimum of that is really very minimum, you know? Uh, compared to when you, uh, compared to the amount of uh, color that you use when you color the candles, that could really affect the smell, you know? But this is only like, I mean, you don't have to use as much you don't have to use as much candle that, as much uh, color that I did, you know. You could do much less, you know. It's just that I wanted you to see on camera, you know, the whole effect, okay. It's just like, I think it's beautiful, um, especially on these kind of vessels, you know, like this. Um, yeah. Oh my God, this saffron is amazing. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have any more questions or anything? If not, I'm going to end it here because I, it's been 45 minutes and I'm, people don't really watch these long um, live streams. So anyway, guys. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I'll see you. Don't forget Tuesday. The candle of the week is coming. This Tuesday at 8 o'clock. No, this Tuesday is going to be at 9 o'clock because I have an appointment with the vets. So this candle of the week on Tuesday is going to be 9, 9 a.m., okay? So 
don't uh, make sure that you change it at the time for this week only, okay? And then on Thursday, it's gonna be the eight o'clock premiere of my Send Memory Fragrance review, okay? So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Yeah, thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful Sunday and have a wonderful week. Yeah, thank you.